Hello, Moonchachos. It is I, Bolt Matrix, and today we are taking a look at Legacy of Voyager Class Bulkhead. Figure purchased over at Amazon.com. It seems to be the only place I can get figures, not my local haunts. If I want third party figures, sure, I'll go to Cho the Chosen Prime or Big Bad Toy Store. But for mainline figures, I can only seem to get them at Amazon, nowhere else. Bulkhead's alt mode is a rough version of a Raba H-18 military truck. And I think the military truck works well. It's not the cool SUV that he has been in the past or the weird police truck that he was in animated. But we've got a much more realistic figure. Alt mode. Sort of. I mean, I really liked that SUV mode because I think that worked a lot better for Bulkhead, but this works as well. While I do like the alt mode, it does feel a little bit weird. The mushroom-pegged wheels aren't great. They lack all kinds of detail in terms of paint, but I like the alt mode overall. Very weirdly, the figure comes with two Minicon ports, or Power Links ports, on the back of the vehicle mode on the tarp section. One in the back... One over there, and then technically the handle that flips out for use in robot mode is also a Power Links port. Really weird, considering there are no Minicons in the Legacy line. Yet. In terms of size, it's not that big of a vehicle mode. The figure collapses incredibly well to this military truck mode. I think it's also a little bit weird that you've got RC, which is a motorcycle, that is almost as big as a gigantic military truck. Another size comparison would be with Legacy Skids. Works a little better in terms of proportion, but not really. And here's a better look at Prime's Earthrise mode next to Bulkhead. And then obviously we have a gigantically ridiculous blaster tape deck mode up on top. <laughs> it's just so silly. Yeah, uh, sc scale is uh, kind of out the window with this line. Something that I really like about the alt mode is the amount of detailing on the cab. We've got mirrors here. We've got windshield wipers inside, which are the fists, look like they're supposed to be dashboards. You've got a lot of nice riveting going on on the cab mode. The very top of the alt mode has two different types of air intakes. It's it is an attractive alt mode. It is. Even the back, yes, those are the feet folded up, but they look like they would be part of a giant section of a tailgate for a, for a military vehicle of this type. Now, the figure can mount some weapons on the side of the alt mode. As you can see there, there are or there is a port for weapons on either side of the alt mode. And then on the top, there's a peg hole there as well for a gun. Oddly enough, though, the wheel arches, or the wheels themselves, can each fit a 5mm port weapon. Doesn't work real well, but you can do it. So if you've got a long, straight piece that acts like a sword, you can put one on each one of his six wheels. Now, what I really don't like about this alt mode is the canopy. Yes, it forms a function, but if you lose it, which you can easily do, especially if you have children, the alt mode kind of falls apart a bit. And that's because the canopy actually pegs into the back of the alt mode to keep the legs stabilized. And then also, you know, you can flip them up. And then you're kind of left with a truck bed with this piece just flapping in the breeze. Removing the canopy reveals the other two accessories, Bulkhead's fist, which we'll talk about in robot mode, and a clear plastic minigun. I actually like the clear plastic minigun. I think it works well. It's decently painted. I am worried about its fragility over time, but it's a small little accessory that can attach to pretty much every other accessory we've gotten in the last couple of years, so it, it works. Now, without that canopy, we have a truck mode that has a whole lot of robot kibble in the middle. It's unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Now, I'm curious. Let me know in the comments, what do you think that this guy is going to get remolded into or repainted into? I think we're going to see Ultra Magnus from Transformers Animated. Bulkhead's transformation is oddly fun. 
I like this transformation quite a bit. Directions were a little bit weird, but I was able to figure it out. I think you would be able to as well. To start off with, come to the back, and these fuel canisters, which I missed the first time I transformed the figure, are actually pegged into the rear of the cab behind the front wheels. They hold the whole thing together, so if they break, you're kind of screwed for holding it together. So just wiggle them away from the alt mode, and then the whole thing accordions out like that. Then come down to what is obviously going to be the feet, unpeg the rear of the vehicle mode, then reach inside to the bed of the of the alt mode and unpeg and flip out the bed. But you might want to unpeg the foot first. That'll help. So those will flip in, grab the can canisters, unpeg them from the thighs, flip them in, turn them 180 degrees, and fold them up into the lower legs and close that section up. So again, unpeg the toes, flip that bed section in towards the middle of the legs, unpeg the fuel tank from the thighs, flip it back 180 degrees around, and slide it or fold it up into the rear of the legs, and we're done there. Come to the feet, flip out the feet, and then flip out the toes, and you really are going to need some nails, otherwise you're going to need a tool to get your finger in there to flip that heel out. Straighten the legs. And then just kind of stand the figure up, and we have Grr Truck! Sort of. Now, this whole midsection, just above the crotch at the bottom of the torso, is the part I was talking about that folds up and collapses really neatly. So first thing we're going to do is fold it all the way back, and it will clip into place like that. Then this black piece will flip forward and snap into place at the top of the crotch, lower abdomen. And then we could kind of fold the truck up a little bit, grab the entire top canopy, and fold that up and unpeg it, and reach inside and fold down the arms, come to the back of the truck canopy, or cab, and these tires that are at the top flip together, and then they will fold up underneath this black piece. Come underneath the cab section, push the black roof in, grab Bulkhead's head and flip it up, and it will snap into place. Grab the arms and the front tires or front wheels, unpeg them, and flip them up. And this is where things get a little weird. So we want to flip the arms out and up so that these black pieces fold all the way up. And then these little struts that the shoulders are attached to will fit into this cutout that is right behind the windows. So, oh, I screwed up because the little wheels fell down. So get those up and then we could fold the arms up all the way up and then bring that canopy. I keep calling it canopy, the cab section down and make sure those shoulders are all the way up. Otherwise that cab section won't be able to fold down and snap into place. And then we could bring this whole section. There's clear blue plastic. We'll peg into the little black piece that we were talking about. One word of warning. This entire front section is clear blue plastic painted over. That sucks. But there's nothing I can do about that. Lastly, peg the shoulders in to the sides of the cab. Like that. Now I have to admit, I really like this robot mode. The coloring, the different shades of green, the silver, even the blue work incredibly well. The pictures do not do the figure justice. In hand, the figure feels way better than any of the figures or any of the pictures make it look. It also looks better in, you know, in hand. Yes, the chest is hollow. There's no getting around that. But it's bulkhead, and he feels bulky. He feels bulked out. And this is this alt mode feels like it works for the character. The one thing that doesn't work, though, proportions-wise, is his head. It's just sunken into the chest in an odd way. Head sculpt, absolutely fantastic. Love it to death. Just feels small for the overall body. But, well, I mean, that's kind of the character, isn't it? And again, head sculpt works well. Yeah, he's got a gigantic chin-mouth section, but it works. 
Really wish there was some light piping. There isn't any. Oh, well, because it, it, it really does feel like those are... Well, wait, hold on. Those are not... Those are painted eyes. Those eyes are not clear plastic like I thought they were under my studio lights. Okay, yeah, those are painted eyes. Really good head sculpt. The canopy for vehicle mode can easily be mounted on the back in robot mode. No problem there. It can also come off and then be mounted on either forearm, like so, to act as a shield. It can then be carried in use as a shield of some sort like that. But the directions also have it pegging into this. This mace weapon opens up and the peg section goes on the top of the fist like so, and it closes and we have Bulkhead's iconic mace weapon. And then the shield can be placed in front or pegged in front of it. So it has a, so he has a riot shield, which, okay, that's a little weird. I mean, I don't like, it's not that I don't like it. It's just weird. Now, the minigun can either be hand-carried in use, it can be pegged into the top of the fist, it can be pegged into a forearm or the bottom part of his leg, it can be attached to any of the wheels and spun around like a Death Blossom cannon. Or, there are two little pegs on the back of it, and they fit neatly into the arm, or the section that comes off the back of Bulkhead's head, and it could be set up like a gun or a missile launcher a la Soundwave. Oh, huh. I wonder if we're going to get a Decepticon repaint of this as Soundwave. That could work. Now let's talk about arming him up. We've got, obviously, the little port on the back, which could fit anything of that tiny size. We can put a gun on a shoulder, a gun on a forearm, a gun in a hand, a gun on the other side of the forearm. Guns, well, you can fit as many as you think you can manage to fit here on the bottom of the legs. There is that one port that is between the rear tires and then the rear tires themselves. The bottom of the feet each have sections. And then there's a giant peg hole on the back and then there are peg holes on the back of the shins good luck with those and then if you want you can well you can put a gun on each one of the holes on the mace but really it only works for three of the holes because two of the holes are just too darn shallow in terms of size bulkhead in robot mode is the same size as other voyager class figures and it's weird because he feels so much bigger in the hand, but then when you put him up against something like Blaster or even an Optimus Prime figure, it's, yeah, he's wider, he's chunkier, but he's practically the exact same height. Transformation back into vehicle mode is not difficult, but there are a couple of gotchas, I feel like. To start off with, grab the shoulders and just unpeg them from the chest, push the chest up, and you'll pretty much just unsnap the entire torso. Grab the robot head and pull it down. The first time I did that, I thought I was going to break the accursed thing. But don't worry, it can take it. Then take the forearms and bend them at the elbows all the way up. And then come into the chest and flip down and up the roof of the vehicle mode. Come to the little black piece and unpeg it. That's the hardest part of the transformation. It requires a lot of force to do that. Grab the entire torso section and pull it away from the from the crotch and flip it out. It'll go a little bit noodly on you. It's okay. Bring the elbows down and or I should say bring the shoulders down and peg them together. And they do peg in together, but you might have to just bring the shoulders in all the way. And then ah, snap together, blast you. You can do it. I know you can. And that's what you want it to look like. Straighten the fists, fold the arms all the way up like that, bring the cab section down and snap it into place, flip up that little black piece, push the wheels down and fold them out like that. Now, what do we do for the legs? Well, first off, splay the legs open like that, fold the heels up, reach into the back part of the shins and then dig out the little gas cans or gas tanks. Fold them around, and then close those panels back up. 
and then smush the legs together. Bend the, knee, the knees, and like that. And then the little gas tanks will peg into the little slots that are on the outside of the thighs. Now, take the entire, now this is the crotch section, point that forward, and then kind of shimmy everything down. That black piece will then go flush. This whole section will peg into place. There are pegs up here that the crotch section will peg into the back, and then the gas tanks will peg into the areas behind the cab section. I always end up, when I push those together, I always end up unpegging the cab. All right, now we can take the canopy, straighten it out, just like that. Take the mace, drop that down in the center, like that. And grab the minigun. The minigun has pegs on either side that will peg into those sections. Black piece goes down. Canopy will peg into that black piece. And then the sections will fold down, and there are tabs on the edge. And there are little tabs, tab holes on the inside of the back of the legs. And flip up the toes, and they'll snap into place, and we're done. Bet. Overall, I like Bulkhead a lot. I think Legacy Bulkhead is a ton of fun and is a great toy. The transformation is fun. Both modes are good. Feels a little small in vehicle mode. <sighs> Who cares? Overall, though, it's a solid buy and a great transformer. It, it's just a fun toy. Now, negatives, entire chest section and entire cab section, clear plastic. If you lose any of the accessories, that sucks. Other than that, I don't have anything else negative to say. It's a fun toy and a great transformer and definitely worth having in your collection. Now, a lot of folks have said they're not into Legacy. I get that. I totally get that. Blaster, heck, is a reject from Kingdom. Actually, I wouldn't say a reject, a carryover from Kingdom. RC, so far, is the worst figure in the line for me, followed by, mm, I would say... Oh, uh, you know what? RC, I don't particularly care for. So far, these three are my favorite. Now, I haven't gotten Kickback or Drag Strip yet. Those two are scheduled to be delivered from Amazon in, like, early June. We'll see if I actually get them. If you have them, um, or if you could get them at your local store, hit me up on Twitter. I might be willing to buy them off you. I've done crazier things in the past. All right, folks, that has been my review of Transformers Legacy Voyager Class Bulkhead. Let me know what you think of the of the figure. Let me know what you think of the figure down in the comments. Please, please be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Ball Matrix, and I'll catch you all next time.